Okay, I want to run you through the setup of one of my, uh, of my one of these easy up best way fast set type poles. Um, this year I've put the pole, it's actually at the top of my, it's a 10 foot pole for start and we put it at the back side of the house almost. The kids have their swing set and stuff and not everything in the back of the garden or the back garden. It's not a massive garden so we want to keep that for the dogs and myself and my husband to use and still have good visibility of the kids but have their own privacy and our own privacy too. Um, so last year we put it at the front of the house, it was on the lawn. And uh, on the grass, front uh, front lawn, and uh, afterwards the grass really, really suffered with a huge ball spot for quite a long time, and it really, really took a lot of effort to get that renewed. It's still not perfect, if truth be told, um, and also the pool got dirty really, really quick with grassy, muddy feet. So I thought I'd rethink it a, a, a bit this year. As well, it was quite an exposed area, so the kids never had any opportunity to duck in or out of. Uh, the sun when they needed to um, and if it was breezy at all it got cold really quick so this area is very very sheltered it's, they haven't got a pile of space but their trampoline is behind me just here so they're screened off and we've got a bit of privacy and it's um, very very safe area and as I say me and my husband can see them and um, just open the fence and we, we can sit and chat with them and, and uh, or else come out here and sit we've got outdoor bean bags and stuff here and seats but they're on artificial grass and it's nice and soft as well, which I thought was a real benefit. And um, that's really helped. One of the reasons I'm doing the video is that I find it really hard to get information. The uh, the instructions were okay, but there were things that, uh, that I thought were important that were missing. And from videos as well, there was a few videos online, but a lot of stuff missing that I, was relevant to me. So I thought I'd put one together that covered all the bases for somebody like me. So I inflated the top ring, found an area, and I broke the rules a little bit, and this is just from sheer experience, a personal note. My pool is not on a completely, completely flat area, and you'll see if I step back, well, there's, you can see it's not completely flat, so it tends to lean tiny bit to one end, and I did that for a reason, um, just from experience of trying to drain these things last year was not an easy drain because there was no drain valve there was a drain valve but there was no a drain valve adapter in the last set i got i got a new pool this year um, and draining it last year was an absolute disaster uh, it took forever and was a bit of a nightmare to be honest and um, they we were in luck that were, i had set it up quite near a mains street drain but that was luck rather than design this year my pool comes with a drain valve and adapter and I've actually located the drain valve um, just, I don't know if you can see that, just beside a, um, a drain, a dry spout, a drain and I can actually run, I've got a little one, one metre length of hose and I can attach that right here and I just let that drain. I drained the pool there recently just to, they'd been using it for a couple of weeks and even though we've filtered and everything, sun cream and what build up, I thought it needed it needed a good clean out. So I drained it completely, let it run completely away as as I left it for a day and a half and it had gone down enough for me to tip the rest. Um I recently was able to, after a lot of um searching, I finally find a pool heater. You'll see it it's set up over here in the corner at the minute. I have that covered over a little bit whenever I let the kids actually finally use it. I'm just putting it up put it on. First of all I've got the filter and it's the best way Intex filter and that's located here. Now some of the things that that I would have found very useful when I was looking at the instructions was a wee bit of support with which of the um, adapters went into which side. So this is the B side and the adapter that goes into that, see if I can show you without my freaking phone falling in, is the strainer type. I don't know if you can see that but it's the type with all the little holes. And the type then that goes into the other side, the A side, you'll see it there actually at the top of the pool maybe, is the type with just a few holes. I always remember because it's got like thumbprints right around it. Indentations around the plastic grey area. Then from the B side, um, the B side runs in and connects to the high part of your filter. That's important. So just remember that. So B side goes to the high part of your filter. And then if we go around the other side. Go around the other side. It goes then the B side hose. Go runs into 
the uh, one side of the heater and it's this then the arrow points that there's an arrow on the top of this heater this is a best way heater as well i was very lucky to pick up a couple hundred quid um which is ridiculous when you think of the price of the pearl but you really really need one um in uk weather anyway so the um the arrow points the direction of the water flow so you're going in the base side and across up the hose and back in on the air side and when you turn the filter on first and you can unscrew the top lid and get the air out of that valve so you can unscrew that let all the air out and then when water starts to flow shut it tight again and you'll see now what i did find i need to do both times that i set the filter up was give the hoses a bit of a tap and a shake until i started to see the air bubbles going completely out and being driven through and then you see there's very few air bubbles left in it and then you should see the the you'll see when it's running the water coming up and air bubbles coming out on that side then when you've got that running through you can turn on your uh, heater so you, it's a you hit test then reset then test again and then you hit your on button and when it goes on it goes ed first on the display at the top it says ed and then you press and hold the power button in there on the front on the top sorry uh, press and hold it in for about two seconds and you'll see it says on on the led display and then you're going the water's flowing through the system and it's heating it too now i put and um, this is only just on so it's not heated in yet obviously but i put the it on about half an hour ago and it was 14 degrees whenever i put it on it's now up to 16 so that's pretty good already i'm happy enough for that but um the kids will run this and change the filter regularly i have a little uh, net thing that i'll uh, skim it out to and we put in chlorine every couple of nights and keep it um keep it nice and clean and um this should last them three or four weeks uh, i cover it as well because covered with the best we cover at night um to stop stuff falling in leaves and bits and it also helps retain the heat um so that is that i hope that helps somebody and best of luck and happy swimming